If you've been watching me and my vlogs for a while now, you would know Thursday is, drum roll please, boba day. This morning I've been working on my final paper. It's currently 18 pages and 6,243 words. Bye. I need to write an application that's due on Sunday, but I'm thinking about leaving it off until literally Saturday after I finish my final on Friday. There's just something about writing essays where I feel like I need to just do it all in one sitting, like doing the outline and researching for the essay. Yes, you can split it up, but when it comes down to actually writing it, I do pretty much the bulk of it or all of it in just one sitting. wanting something for quite some time but she will never bring herself to buy it lemon leggings also look how cute this wrapping paper is they're little nutcrackers she does yoga or dancing almost every single day of the week so i think this is a good present it's like it's cute on this side not on this side but on this side like six out of ten I finally have a purpose for this ridiculously cute notepad. I'm probably going to use one of these to like write a little note. <laughs> Looks slightly demonic from some angles. You know, good in concept, maybe not in execution. Did I show you this sticker already? fail compilation because it has been four months and I still can't do any skate tricks haha -ha. cry Ow. A gopher? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, there's. See him? Uh, okay. <gasps> oh my. Oh, I missed the center so badly. So, since I last vlogged, I kept studying for environmental health, looked through another lecture but I quickly got bored of that, so I ended up finishing the application that's due 
on Sunday. You should apply to a lot of things, even if you don't think you have a chance. It's just to practice writing about your experiences and having this repository of um, essays that you can sort of recycle or um, look back on to reflect on your experiences for another application. It makes the process so much faster and easier. For example, I applied to a fellowship this past summer. Um, there's literally one spot for this fellowship, so I was like, I'm really unlikely to end up getting this fellowship. But it was a really good experience because after writing my essay, I got feedback from the fellowship advising office. I got feedback from um, some of my research mentors. So it's really awesome to just work on essays and get feedback on them to improve your writing. So I'm taking a study break and I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Sign Duo. They're a deaf and hearing couple that educate their audience on ASL and what it means to be part of the deaf community. They're very well known on YouTube, but if you haven't heard of them, definitely go check them out. I love them. I was gonna say good morning, but it's already 12.30 p.m. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm going to take a final exam for the next three hours and I will see you afterwards. Just finished my final and I just need to like lie here for a while. The most satisfying part is being able to close all of your tabs. Good morning everyone, it's Saturday. I'm going to pick up fills for me and my mom. There are people coming over to clean the carpet. So I spent the morning just pushing all of my furniture into my bathroom. Now you can play guitar in the bathroom. This is mine. I got an oatmeal cookie and I got an ether for my mom. She doesn't like flavored coffee or coffee with sugar so I was like I don't know, I guess an ether is one that adults like to drink. I'm too lazy to do a voiceover. Chaotic cooking with May? Oh no. Arugula. Avocado. Tomato. Silly bee, the spaghetti was not ready. Goddamn, bon appetit. Coaster's back from his haircut. Say hi, Coaster. Oh my gosh, he's so... Wow, he does smell really fragrant. So it's 11.56, almost midnight, and I don't know why I suddenly decided to work on my essay because I was honestly just gonna push it off until tomorrow, but I ended up finishing it and it's 24 pages. I just like, I can't read this again. <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna turn it in tomorrow and you know godspeed Let's look at it together because I don't know what else I can do with this. I think I'll call that a success for the day I Submitted my application that I was working on earlier. I also submitted my final paper for um, my disability justice class and I finished my telepsychiatry paper. So tomorrow all I have to do is Maybe look over this one more time um, Submit it and then I'm just gonna take the day off This was such a stressful and like weirdly drawn out but also extremely crammed finals period and I have so much like anxious adrenaline right now for absolutely no reason. So I'm going to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna celebrate with an episode of The Office. I'm on my second run through the entire show. Okay, I'm gonna go, bye. <laughs> On Sunday, I found time to relax and garden. I finally got to pot all of my cuttings. This Monstera cutting was a gift from my brother's girlfriend and it's been growing nice and strong. I got some potting soil and just packed it up and added this nice mossy material on top. Apparently, it keeps the soil hydrated. Um, I just added it for aesthetic purposes. 
Wow, look at that. It's like a nice green umbrella. <laughs> And next up, we have these pothos, marble pothos cuttings um, doing the same thing. I add some leaves on the bottom to prevent all the water from just coming out. Then I add some potting soil and my little cuttings. The roots have been getting ridiculously long, so I figured it was time. Adding the soil. We, like plants, need attention and care to grow. And this semester, I've learned that it's really important to take care of yourself. I found really the importance of not only proper sleep and nutrition, but also exercise and picking up new hobbies. Um, I think learning to skateboard and getting more into gardening, if you can even call this gardening, um, has really helped me get through days that seem to be the exact same. So I hope this gives you some idea of a new hobby that you can pick up while you're quarantined at home. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maisie Gao, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.